welcome back to TWSS Morning Show. This is our second edition. Alright, yesterday you saw 4D. Uh, no, not, not 4D. 4 Dynamite. Boom, All right, boom, 4 Dynamite. Dynamite uh, give their opinion on and share their stories on Singapore. And today we have with us in our studio 4 B. <laughs> Hey, what is on? Bala. 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 <laughs> okay. Bala is a guy from my primary school textbook. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Really? And hey, what's Balatron? What Trons? is Balatron? Indian brother. It's something to do with jokers, you know. Okay, never mind. Do you coin that word or is it an uh, uh, existing word? So it's not it so means Balatron. Yeah. yeah. And Bellatron. it means jokers. Yeah. So you guys are a bunch of jokers. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Alright, so that's good. We got a bunch of jokers who was in this. Who's the biggest joke here? Uh, Joker and so. joke is different. Come on, I'm trying to trick them. Oh. 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 oh, he's the biggest joke. Oh. Me too, smart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're here again. This is the second edition, and yes, today we're going to talk about Singapore again and share our Singapore stories. Uh, in case you missed yesterday, uh, Mr. Sharon why are we doing Singapore? Okay, why are we doing Singapore? What do you guys think? Singapore is going to be coming up. And Australia is coming up. Besides that, Rachel only just passed. Well done! Right. 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 These guys are smart. You told them beforehand? No, I didn't. I did, I did. Who, who's your teacher? Who's your exactly. English teacher? Miss Safia. Miss Safia. Miss Safia. Miss Safia has been doing a very good job very teaching good. this bunch of jokers. <laughs> <laughs> so who's your chief joker? You. Chief joker? <laughs> when, when did I? <laughs> who's your chief joker? Miss Stephanie Hong. Miss Stephanie Hong. She's the head, so... Is, so is she the chief joker, or is she the chief joke? She facilitates the jokes. Yeah, I think she <laughs> You know, sometimes when you're too smart, in a class like 4B, you need a facilitator even for jokes. <laughs> okay, um, gentlemen, ladies, okay, now it's your time to tell the joke. Okay, is it funny? Okay, do you guys think, do you guys think it's funny? Funny? Okay. Let's facilitate it. Okay, higher order thinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start with uh, our Singapore story. Let's start um, with... Justina, all right, Justina, can you share um, with us, you know, what makes you Singaporean? Uh, basically, I feel that uh, what makes me Singaporean is actually uh, coming together as uh, different races and joining together to help each other in their studies and all this. Uh, of course, as a student, I feel that uh, being together with all without knowing their race and religion is actually uh, a happy thing to actually tell myself that I'm a Singaporean. Miss Sophia, at this junction, I have to tell you, I don't think she prepared a script, but there was <laughs> no, stop. That looked as if she was reading from a script, but there's no script here. Huh? No, oh, that's amazing. Yeah, so she said so many things. I was impressed with what she was saying that I missed out everything. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's test whether she had a script. Can you please repeat what you said earlier? Uh, okay, basically, I, uh, I feel that I'm a Singaporean. What makes me Singaporean is basically uh, my classmates and I coming from different race and religion uh -huh. to actually uh, help each other in our studies and also to enjoy our lessons together. So I feel that as a student, uh, that's what makes me being a Singaporean because, you know, as uh, we leave our religion, race and everything behind, we come together to help each other. Mm -hmm. That's actually more than happy to me. Speaking of that, right? Do you guys agree with what she says? Do you feel the same way about being Singaporean? Uh, no, I, 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 can't, I can't I can't answer that. But why not? Yeah, can you okay. But aren't you living in Singapore right now? So I, I the same thing. My residence is in Singapore, that's true, but from what she has said, I I can agree what with what she says, uh, it does Make me happy to be a Singaporean. Oh! What does this mean? Yes, <laughs> I am not a Singaporean yet, people. Why? <laughs> what are you now? I am a permanent resident and a citizen of South Korea. South Korean? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, okay, now, now I've got this question in my head. Are uh, permanent residents Singaporeans? Mm, they don't receive the benefits as Singaporeans do. Okay, put the benefits aside. Okay, let's rephrase it in a different way. Do you consider yourself Singaporean? Yes. This is you. Don't care about anyone else. Me. Hmm. <laughs> think about it. You gotta think about it because this will affect your future. Because uh, anyone will be watch watching this. We're gonna post this, this is going to be on YouTube. You and uh, or... the Prime Minister will watch it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this will affect your citizenship in Singapore. Whether you go to the army, which university you go to, your entire life. I think the more you're talking, the more he gets. 
All right. I, just, <laughs> I can see myself living in Singapore for a much longer time. No, no, wrong answer. Yes, <laughs> yes. Let's use this as my thought. I'll speak my mind. Okay. You ask me to say yes or no? I'll say yes. Uh, I can see my future being in Singapore because I believe I'll receive my citizenship soon. Soon. And... Uh, <laughs> Very soon. Uh, I believe it's... Uh, I, 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 I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> I've never experienced life outside in South Korea either. I just... I just think Singapore will be my... Homeland quite soon enough. Uh. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> the fact that Singapore will no longer be your country of residence, it will eventually be... Soon it will not be my country of residence, it will be... Home. My country. That, that's in my country. Uh. Now, it, yeah. How do you feel about this, Singaporeans? How do you feel that you know we are accepting people from Korea and other nations and they are coming forward to say that I'm happy that this is going to be my country. How do you feel? Mm, actually, it's quite great. Uh. It makes the society more open. Yeah, more open. And then more people to interact. But let's jump forward. So, so you feel that. <laughs> more languages to learn. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Second language is a little bit terrible. So, I, I, so, so you guys are happy? Actually, it's yeah. quite happy. Because it's like someone from Korea is like. You know, K-pop it was going on for as a trend for some time, and it's quite fun and happy to make fun of him, be friends with him, all those things. So, what do you say? Ah, no, no, no. It's more fun. Than, than no, it's it just I just emphasizing a point when he said make fun of me. <laughs> I mean, not a lot of it, huh? I'm just emphasizing it, But no, I'm, I'm okay with it, I, it's not. I guess it's part of being Singaporean. Yeah, mm. being made fun of. To get made fun of, right? <laughs> Okay, so why don't you share your experience? What does it mean to be a Singaporean to you? Mm, actually, being Singaporean is... Actually, I have no idea. It's all about... It's just our homeland, it's our land. It's like, I'm born here. Yeah, I'm born here. Singaporean, okay lah, Singaporean lah. Japanese, Japanese, okay lah, Japanese. You notice the stark difference? The way he described his experience and the way he said, my country. Yeah the emotion that came with it and then the emotion that came with his <laughs> the impact uh. it, it's the same thing I think I think if you're born it just just goes back to the analogy if you're born in a in a rich family alright and I I give you a hundred dollars alright to you the hundred dollars is mm. a normal thing you don't really appreciate it because you get it on a daily basis but for someone who comes here who born in a normal you know, middle income family and then you give them hundred dollars Mm-hmm. They will appreciate it more. You know, which I feel, us Singaporeans, I don't know if you agree with me, being born in Singapore, receiving all the benefits as Singaporeans, sometimes I feel that even me, you know, we take it for granted. You know? mm-hmm. And for someone that, who has a PR, who actually realizes or knows or experiences that there is actually a difference between being Singaporean and being PR. Because he said earlier, I'm PR, I'm not Singaporean, I don't enjoy the benefits. So he realizes that there's a benefit. Mm-hmm. We don't because we were born with it. Yeah, but, speaking of know, which, what would you consider the benefits of being Singaporean? <clears throat> In my case, I would take it as the financial benefits I receive, mm-hmm. such as, as for a student like me, I can finally receive EduSafe at long last after all these programs I've been spending money on. I'm going to graduate soon. Yeah, the show is you should know EduSafe, right? Holly... JC? JC? JC is the... JC's the... Uh, oh, but JC is not one of my options, so that's disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've been... It's not that I've studied the kind of benefits I receive, but from from hearing from all my friends, the kind of advantages they have over me, usually when it comes to this kind of citizenship stuff, I f- feel that there will be a significant difference once I become a Singapore citizen. In terms of me, it will benefit me a lot more. And yeah, basically Let me tell you one significant difference that I know that you're going to get. You're going to get two years of your life taken away for national service. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, my friend! <laughs> yeah, but you speak of these benefits, right? Right. Do you feel that your life as a Singaporean is more beneficial than him? 
than his. No, as his classmate, as his mm. friend. Do you feel like you are at an advantage? Because clearly he said just now oh. that you know he would get the advantage once he becomes Singaporean. So as a Singaporean, do you feel you are at an advantage? Honestly, like, not nothing much. Uh. Like, I don't like compared to him. I also don't feel any difference. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's I mean other than is like the prices are uh, you know for whatever fees exam fee all that. And then nothing much. Really. Mm-hmm. I don't it's like like become so for what? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, like, that's not other than the financial thing. I've suffered enough on cashing on a lot of school events. Uh, a lot of programs, uh. Especially the soft trip last year. Oh my god. So you paid money to go back to your home then? <laughs> so yes. Oh my god. <laughs> so that is ridiculous, huh? It's... One what reason why I paid for it is because it's the thought of going with my friends to my homeland. Yeah, it's like... That, that's the thing, the, the thought that actually makes me actually want to go, I mean, willing be willing to spend all that cash just mm-hmm. to go back to South Korea. But then it just hurts me. Like, mind mind me asking, I mean, how much did a normal student pay for that trip? $75. How much? 1975. $75. Huh. And how much did you have to pay? A thousand plus. One point five. One thousand five hundred dollars And then you say there's no difference. Nah, it's two thousand, two thousand percent. No, no, other than money, like, anybody bother doing the math, like, I could just be lying. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's a lot. And you actually, did, did the school provide any kind of support for you? Mm, transport. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, just like, it's just like my parents helping me to plan for my trips. Like the same thing, uh, the school helps to plan for my trips while I just pay the food. Okay, yeah, you were saying about Western influence, right? So, and you're right, you know, are, uh, are we losing our identity as Singaporeans? So what is a Singaporean? Who is a Singaporean? Who are you? Who are you purely Asian? Or are you Asian with Western influence? Who, who are you? Who are you a Singaporean? You are a Singaporean. Yeah. Who do you think you are? Oh. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's... Eh? Yeah. <laughs> the fact that you said, eh, hey, yeah. I don't know, ah. Uh. It's is confused. That, is that Singaporean? Does that sound Singaporean to you? <laughs> no, what? What makes you Singaporean? <laughs> I don't know. Wait, you're like, what makes you Singaporean? I have no idea what it be. What makes... No, maybe, <laughs> maybe I feel that it is uh, the common practices that we do. Like, some taking things... Taking a pledge together. Uh, like, taking a pledge together, seeing the national anthem every day. It's something. It's not something that other countries do every day, but it's something that Singapore's do every day or something. Do you, do you know that every country, I think they say they, they have their own pledge. And their own national anthem every day in school. Like, well, that time I went in Hong Kong in a few years back with the school. Mm-hmm. You only see it on Monday and Wednesday. Oh, not every day. Not every day. So and I'm sure there are schools in Singapore that do it on Mondays only too. No, the yeah. national anthem is from Monday to Sing every day. There was. I uh, only know that they only recite their pledge in Chinese or other yeah. yeah. no, schools. Last time, plus. last time my school, we used to sing national anthem only on Mondays. Last time. Last time. <laughs> last time. 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 Which primary school is this, for a record? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and on other days, we just take the pledge. Really? Mm. So you guys actually feel the sense of Singaporean when you say the pledge? When we say Jack who use this thing, right? Just say, just say. Oh, Mr. Hoya. Shocking, shocking. Mr. Hoy, I think you should be watching now. Huh? But so, only for 10 years ago. So you life. guys feel that? That sense of belonging, that yeah. sense of identity, yeah. Oh, yeah. you know, that yeah. patriotism yeah. when you say, oh, oh my god. god. And, 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 that's why, and, you know, and, and that's why you, you sing the national anthem and say the pledge every morning with utter silence. <laughs> no! <laughs> so, so, when? Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. Before the end, right, we're all gonna sing the national anthem. They're gonna say the national anthem. No! no. Why? Aren't you proud? Yeah, we are so proud. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Huh? Mas, I, do you sing every morning? Yeah. No. And you stand up there. I stand and up. You, like that also. you gotta know the line, though. Get the test on the, the citizenship. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the test is the history of who's the first president of Singapore. I will lip sync. I will lip sync. No, you <laughs> can't. This is not K-pop. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God.
thank you so much. Uh, thank you, everyone from 4D. B. For B. B. Jokers, alright. Uh, thank you. Uh, we had a good time today and we shared a lot about Singapore. So, see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.